Usain Bolt gets robbed by the SSL. Hi, Sierra Busyness, Navy, welcome back, got a lot of tea for you this week, sip slowly cause it's piping hot. Red legend Usain Bolt is among the victims of the fraud at SSL, or assistant group head of sports Kayon Arena has been tracking down. Usain Bolt lost the sum of $10 million which he invested in SSL and has not been reimbursed his funds. The biggest scandal since the start of the year. Can we trust the Jamaican banking system with our money anymore? I sense a lawsuit on its way. Usain has been investing with them since the start of his career in 2012, which according to reports, he has not withdrawn from his account, only to find that he only has 2,000 US dollars remaining in his account. Jean and Panton, a wealth advisor at SSL, makes a full confession to robbing her customers at SSL, who have invested over the years. She has mentioned a couple of names, but Usain Bolt in her confession, which leads me to believe that other people are involved in scamming her clients. I think a lot of people might start putting their money under their mattress. This is a copy of the document will leave the link to the statement by Jean N in the description. Police has seized several documents, including cell phones that contain evidence from the home of Jean Ann. Jean Ann has been said to have suffered a stroke after she was exposed as a scammer. She was spotted using a wheelchair. A mess. Futa Hype gets threats after speaking out against Coffee and Sam Smith. Futa Hype has a hit out for him for 25k because of him speaking out against Coffee. Coffee does provocative and suggestive video with Sam Smith that caused Futa to speak out. We'll leave the link to the music video in my description. Here's what Futa Hype said before all the threats. Bo, oh, yeah, yeah, reggae artist, yeah, come do song with, with Sam Smith. You could have made that pass. You're not dead for hungry, make that pass. Bear in mind, Coffee is under contractual agreement, which she can't just break. I wonder who was the creative producer behind this raunchy video. I will say no more. Moving forward, remember when I talked about Vibes Cardle's son Lil Addy and his ex-girlfriend who was pregnant at the time? And Lil Addy DN. Hey didn't match. Well guess who's went on Shelly and Curran's show? Is a lot of people don't really know me because I haven't spent much of my life in Jamaica. So it has caused problems and it has led to a thing that they're saying that oh they wanted a dna so okay so the story is once you became like posted then yes. people started to carry back story yes. to the family right yes and then the the ex-lady yes. um she now yes. asked telling you she needed a dna yes. test okay so you agreed yes but did you know the dad told me not to go with her. Jesus. You, you don't know. 
did he tell you why? No, but he told me do not go with her. But I went because I was sure. But let me carry on to that story. While I was pregnant, she brought me to DDC to do a DNA while I was pregnant. Is this young lady accusing her former mother-in-law of faking the paternity of her child's results? What are your thoughts? Do you think she just embarrassed and blaming Shorty? Or do you think Shorty faked the results and paid off a few people to say, the child's not a Palmer, let me know what you think in the comment section. Young woman shares her encounter she has with influential people about sex magic. Like and follow okay, for so my story saying, of my you experience. Know, you have nothing to do with, um, obia, uh, witchcraft. Alright, I understand, but as I said in my last video, God's people, Curse because I lack a knowledge. All right, let me, let me get straight. Let me get straight to the point quick because I just three minutes. Me have. I've been to places where you've never been, and that's why I can't come talk like this. I've been to places where you've never been. I've been in the house of cult people, people who are literally in a cult. Me been into their house, yes. Or me reach here, then when they plan to fuck me up. That me I go make no know. You know why me I feel hide and I need mass every time me I talk? Because I'm a target. People actually in a Jamaica were in a cult and they after we soul. They after we soul. And you think say a pan they knock or they light fire and jump around here and chant. I know that they do. I know that they do. Them black magic entails having sexual intercourse anally or in a your mouth. If you notice that uh, Britney said they not even touch her vagina or bottom man they mo her mouth they did want. CMB DSM I don't know if you don't remember one video where they leak with some girl in one hotel room with some man. What they do them bad just a sex them in their mouth and them body and the girl them just a vomit down the place and a ball and a beggy man them for stop and the girl them a vomit down the place and a ball. Yeah. The man there are cult practices that is black magic, that is soul capturing. They are trying to steal your soul from you by doing these things to you. You understand me? I say so I don't come talk things on me no know. I hide myself as I say because I have to protect myself and I know that these people look for me because they don't want me to talk out the truth or what I want. But if you don't want to hear my story, you have to like and follow me to hear my story. Because this is serious. No people no see a Nyamota road pa Nyamota bin, sorry. Nyamota bin pa road and some mad people, some young people, you wonder what do them? They were a victim of the same thing. They get fucked. So let me tell you something. This thing is real. And them the practices of the cult people them is sex magic. Sex magic what involve ENL sex and also oral sex and then i go do it in a nice pretty way then i go do your bad then i go ram out your mouth till you start vomit till your throat and mash up then i go ram out your body until 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 you me just attack it raw and tell you straight up till your bottom start bleed and all kind of something that's what go on, go on. young women and men be careful of some of these so-called people you meet as she said a lot of these people are doing things to you sexually, but it is for them to gain in the spiritual realm. A lot of them are having sex in this way to gain wealth. Look what they did to Brittany Goff. Brittany has been through a lot and there are other unsuspecting young women who could fall prey to this. Just be careful of who you meet these days. Some people will do anything to gain riches, while in the meantime destroying your good name and destroying you spiritually. Anyways, that's it for. Today don't forget to like share and subscribe see you on the next episode.